Welcome to Picture Healer channel. Today we are going to look at the 12 animal signs and their special relationships. And this knowledge can help you identify who is your friend, who is supportive of you at work and at home, and find out the animal sign that's your secret friend and also who is directly opposite from you so you have different opinions and can create tensions easily. So we have to look at this chart of the 12 animal signs on the 24 mountains. The 24 mountains are basically the 360 degrees divided by 24 sections. So we have our usual eight sections and each section can be divided into three more sections. And each of the animal sign is related to one of the 24 sections or the 24 mountains. The horse is in South 2 and the rat is in North 2. And the rooster is West 2 and the rabbit is East 2. So that's the basic 12 animal sign wheel. Now we will look at the three basic relationships or compatibility in the 12 animal signs. The first relationship is the trinity or your friends. There are four groups and each group consists of three animal signs. They tend to support you and help you and you can work together easily and it's a very harmonious relationship. The second relationship is called the secret friend. And each animal sign has one secret friend. So there will be six pairs in total. And it's a balancing relationship. It's also your secret protector. That animal sign can give you support, protection, and balance. And the third one we want to talk about is the opposition. That's an animal sign with the opposite personality or character from you. Sometimes they call it enemies, but it really depends on how you look at it. When two people have opposite point of view, it doesn't mean you are enemies. It just means you two are very different. So it tends to create tension and conflict. And each animal sign will have one opposite animal sign. Here is an example when we look at the horse that's on the south. The first relationship, the trinity, we have horse, dog, and a tiger. You can see it creates a triangle. Those three animal signs work together nicely. You tend to get along well, and it's a supportive relationship. And the second relationship is your secret friend. In this case, the horse is the secret friend of the goat, and the goat is the secret friend of the horse. And the third relationship is uh, opposition. So across from the horse is the rat, and they have the opposite personality. So the horse and the rat can be conflicting, and some people call them enemies. So we will start with the Trinity groups. There are four groups and each group has three animal signs. The first group includes the horse, dog, and tiger. You can see it's 120 degree relationship. So this is a very harmonious relationship. If you are a horse, the tiger and dog can be your good friends. And if you are a dog, you can look for horse and tiger to help you. And if you are a tiger, horse and dogs are your lucky friends. And the second trinity group include the goat, pig, and rabbit. So they help each other in this group and get along easily. The third trinity group include monkey, rat, and dragon. They have similar personalities and they can get along well. The fourth group is the uh, rooster, snake, and ox. So those three animal signs work together well and can support each other. The second relationship is a secret friend, and there are six pairs. The first one is red and ox. 
and you can see one animal sign belongs to yin and one animal sign belongs to yang. So in the secret friend, it's always one yin and one yang. So that's balanced. So red is the secret friend of ox and the ox is the secret friend of the red. And that means your secret friend can protect you in the background or it can balance you in the background. So this is also a very positive relationship. Here is the second secret friend pair. That's the pig and the tiger. So pig is lucky for tiger and the tiger is lucky for pig. And the third pair is the dog and the rabbit. So the rabbit can be helpful for dog and the dog can be helpful for rabbit. And the fourth pair is the rooster and the dragon. And it's the same, the rooster helps dragon and the dragon helps rooster. And we call it secret friend because it is not as obvious. It's like a compensating each other and the balance each other out. And the fifth pair is the monkey and the snake. You can see one is yang and one is yin. And the last pair is the gold and the horse. Again, the horse is yang and the gold is yin. So that's your secret friend pair. The third relationship is the opposite pair. And this is very easy to see from the chart because it's 180 degrees direct opposite from your animal sign. And because these two animal signs are in the opposite direction, you see things differently. So it tend to create conflict and argument. And it's not as easy to work with as your Trinity combination. But again, this can be overly generalized because a person who is completely opposite from you can be helpful to you too. It depends on your attitude and how you work together. So the first pair is the horse and the rat. They are completely opposite. And the second pair is the goat and the ox. They have the opposite personalities and the characters. The third pair is the monkey and the tiger. The fourth pair is the rooster and the rabbit. And the fifth pair is a dog and a dragon. One is very family oriented and the other one want to fly in the sky. And the last pair is the pig and the snake. They are the opposite animal size and can become enemies or create conflict easily. So those are the three different types of basic compatibility or relationships in the 12 animal signs. And the obvious way to apply this compatibility is by looking at the people around you. If you know their animal sign, you know who is easy to work with, who is compatible, and who might create potential troubles. In feng shui practice, we can increase the lucky or the compatible animal signs and reduce the conflicting one. An easy way to increase your lucky animal signs or the compatible animal signs is to display the statue or pictures of those animal signs in your house or you can carry them as a charm or as a keychain or even as a jewelry. For example, if you are a horse, you can display or carry the statue of tiger and the dog as well as the goat. Those are compatible with you and can bring you supportive energy. And if you are the horse, avoid displaying the rat because that's opposite from you. Try to avoid statue or image of the rat in your house or in your workspace to avoid conflict. And if you want to be even more advanced, you can look at the direction of those animal signs. For example, the tiger belongs to North East 3 and the dog belongs to Northwest 1. 
you can look at this chart and find the corresponding directions. And in the corresponding directions, you can display their statue. And if you display the three animal signs of the Trinity combination, it can really be a lot more powerful. The only thing to pay attention is that if you live with other family member and you know there are conflicting animal signs, try to avoid displaying those in your house because we don't want to create any more tension. Just be considerate about other people living together. So that's a very simple way to increase your luck just by knowing the animal signs and the compatible animal signs. Thank you so much for watching today and see you next time.